if we say it's not possible that God could have morally sufficient reasons to allow certain suffering to exist, well, then now we've taken upon ourselves the mantle of knowing everything. Is it contradictory to say that an all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful God exists in a world where suffering and evil? I think the answer is no, and here's why. Um, if the God is all-knowing um, and all-loving and all-powerful, we're none of those things. Okay, so if that's the case, then we are not in a position to know whether or not an all-knowing God has morally sufficient reasons to allow the amount of suffering and evil that currently exists in the world to exist for some greater possible good that might happen in the future um, or will happen in the future based on his fact that he knows everything. So what does he know? What he knows is all, so if this God exists, if an all loving, all powerful, all knowing God exists, all knowing, this is what how I take the definition to mean. He's all knowing in the sense that he knows all actual truths that exist currently. He knows what is currently true. He knows what is what was past true. He knows what is future true. He knows what will happen, but he also knows what could happen or what would happen. So that means that if God knows all of these things, if there's an all-knowing God, that all-knowing God would know all those things. And so if there is a God who knows all those things, then it's at least possible and if it's at least possible, then there's no contradiction because if I can find even one area where it's possible that God could exist in a world full of suffering, then it's not contradictory. So here's, here's why I say that, because a contradiction is uh, where two things, two statements that, that mean the opposite can't both be true at the same time, in the same way. So I can't say that I'm married and I'm a bachelor. I can't do that because to be bachelor, to be a bachelor is to be unmarried. To be married is to be not a bachelor. I can't be a married bachelor. That is a mutually contradict. That, that is a contradictory statement. Um, but if God knows the spider web of all of history, past, present, future, and future possible, then it's at least possible that God could allow suffering for a greater possible good. Um, and we just can't see it because we don't know all the spider web of past, present, future, and future possible history. We just don't know it. So we're in no position to actually say that it's impossible for that kind of a God to exist. Number two, if we say it's not possible that God could have morally sufficient reasons to allow certain suffering to exist, well, then now we've taken upon ourselves the mantle of knowing everything. And we're not in a position to know everything. We just simply don't. So here's the here's the problem. Yeah, it, here's, it assumes a purpose to history, all human activity, yeah. creation, everything. Yeah. But 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 it even goes further because it creates yeah. its own paradox. Right. Because if you are using <clears throat> if you say there's no possible world in which an all loving, all powerful, all good God exists and suffering and evil exists, even to the extent that it exists on this planet, <clears throat> then you are saying you have infinite knowledge of past, present, and future. Um and if you have infinite knowledge of past, present, and future, then you're setting yourself up to be God. So here's the paradox. You're using your infinite knowledge of the past, present, and future to disprove the existence of a being who has infinite knowledge of past, present, and future. So to say it's not possible is to actually um, assume God's mantle. And that's the true paradox. So I think that the way to answer this is to say that if an all-knowing God exists and he's all-loving, he might have sufficiently loving reasons to allow suffering for a greater possible good we can't possibly fathom with our, limit, with our limited knowledge. Um, and he uses his power to bring, a, to bring it about.